You know the good thing about Norm Macdonald dying? Oh no. People are starting to look him up and appreciate his genius. Norm Macdonald was the Weekend Update host on Saturday Night Live while I was in my teens. But these were the days when I believe you had Spade, Sandler, Chris Rock, um, Farley. Farley, the best. Yeah, I mean, this was a good good time for Saturday Night Live. <clears throat> it was when they were equally objective to both right and left. You shut your line, rips up! Even though they still always bent left, they would still make fun of leftist politicians and things like that. It was kind of fair game, but you had a really good crew on there that were funny. But if you wanted to laugh, the funniest man on the planet was Norm Macdonald. His obsession with O.J. Simpson <laughs> is legendary. <laughs> and still to this day is hilarious. It is hilarious. Makes me happy. <laughs> it, it makes me sad that Norm, you know, died. I mean, I yeah. really enjoyed Norm. It seemed like we lost so many good comedians during the COVID time. You know, like Bob Saget. I used to suck dick for coke. I seen him. Saget, you know, he was the voice of How I Met Your Mother. He was, he was America's dad. Years. But man, Norm hurt. That, that, that hit you in the fields. Because Norm was great. And a lot of people today aren't familiar with him. And that's what we want to change. Mrs. Bro has heard some Norm. She didn't grow up with him like I did. No, so I didn't know who Norm was until the Orville. And then he had to be like, you don't know who Norm McDonald is? Oh, we're watching all these, like, tonight. He was the OG, him and George Carlin, that said whatever the hell they wanted to. And I miss that. I miss that in today's times. I miss good comedies. I miss all the stuff that Gen Z has basically destroyed because of TikTok and Twitter and outrage mobs and offensive. And they've killed comedy. And Norm, if he were alive today, would not care. He's nope. going to say what he wants to say when he wants to say it. I'm ready for her to have a real thorough introduction to Norm. And I'm ready to reminisce on some of the stuff that I've probably forgotten at this point. But let's go, go check out Norm MacDonald. Let's do this. We're taking a dramatic press conference about the crash of TWA Flight 800. ABC News correspondent Pierre Salinger displayed a document which he believes is proof that the jet was shot down by a U.S. Navy missile. Later, he proudly showed reporters his solid gold Rolex that he bought on the street for just $15. <laughs> That's one ugly bastard, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is finally okay. official. Murder is legal in the Maybe state California. of California. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. He called hell for that. A down and out O.J. Simpson, <laughs> depressed that all of his money-making ideas have failed, has decided to go back to doing what he does best, killing people. <laughs> <laughs> Norm's face, though, is just... Oh, yeah. Did you know that? He's stone face. And there's Charles Woodson. How about that? Oh, what a season he had. <laughs> He's like, oh no. Great, Manny. He became the first defensive player to win the Heisman Trophy. And congratulations, Charles. That is something that no one can ever take away from you. Unless you kill your wife and a waiter, in which case. <laughs> <laughs> All bets are off. <laughs> like, oh no. It's a word of advice. A new book claims that Madonna once smeared peanut butter all over John F. Kennedy Jr.'s body and then licked it off. Which just goes to show you, Madonna's a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Weekend Update would like to congratulate Madonna, who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl last Monday. The baby weighed in at six pounds, nine ounces, making it the fourth largest object ever to pass through Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> this week, in a secret ceremony in Australia, Michael Jackson was married for the second time. Asked what makes his new bride special, the king of pop said, quote, she has taught me about the power of imagination, like imagining that a grown woman is a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He didn't care. <laughs> you know he's a homosexual pedophile, right? <laughs> 
sources report that Michael Jackson's baby is due February 27th, and it's going to be named Michael Jackson Jr. Michael plans to be with the mother during the delivery, in his words, to make up for not being there for the contraception. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> sources report that Michael Jackson's baby is due February 27th. It's conception. The last word was conception. So. Michael Jackson. He, yeah. he said, I heard a quote where he said, he, he said, I don't care if uh, my child is a boy or a girl, mm -hmm. as long as it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to name it. He said he doesn't know what he's going to name it. He said, he said he thinks if it's a girl, he's going to name it uh, Sharon. Really? Yeah. And if it's a boy, he's going to have sex with it. <laughs> I came in, and he was supposed to be the, uh, my, uh, kind of, my guide through SNL, and it turned out that no. he is a, a shitster. I'm not going to guide any lady through comedy. That would take me, uh, first of all, I'd have to figure out how a lady could do comedy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'd have to... <laughs> safer drivers, men or women? Well, according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentage in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's brutal. For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, <laughs> now you don't know what the hell to do. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. <laughs> Here we see the president and the first bitch. Oh, God. Gosh, Hillary looks pretty in this photo here, doesn't she? I never realized she was such a looker until I see her here in this, this picture. <laughs> but you see, the only way Bill Clinton, or uh, Bob Dole can win, really, is if Bill Clinton is rocked with more scandals. You know, yeah. there's every day a new scandal comes up, you know. I heard this one today, terrible scandal, apparently. Back, way back when he was governor of Arkansas, Bill Clinton, apparently, he got really drunk one night, and he had uh, sex with uh, Hillary. Wow. <laughs> It's a shocking, shocking thing. Yeah. <laughs> and how long have you been married? Seven months. Is Seven he dressed months. like Larry King? A record. <laughs> no, I, this is the first. I've never, re I've been married, Larry. Uh. But I've never been married, married. Married, married. This is married, married. <laughs> married like She's uh, my friend. Like, I love her. I see. That's what Clinton says about his wife, isn't it? <laughs> Federal regulators fun. quizzed Hillary Clinton at the White House this week and gave her a perfect score on the lying section. She's a dirty liar. <laughs> She's a dirty liar. Uh, you know, of course, they say the White House is haunted. Did you know that? And uh, I thought this was kind of sad. I heard uh, last night that President Clinton uh, charged uh, Abraham Lincoln's ghost 10000 to sleep in his own bed. <laughs> so that's, that doesn't seem right to me, you know? I mean... <laughs> no. But look, the president, you know, has come under a lot of fire for raising money, but you know, you know, he's good at it. He's good at raising money. That's not a bad thing. Every president's done it. It's just that President Clinton is very, very, very good at it. Do you know he has organized in the past year over 100 fundraising dinners and over 200 fundraising midnight snacks? Did you know that? <laughs> is he laughing? <laughs> okay, Norm, you're Canadian. Yes, I am. So what do you think of this oh, whole God. presidential mess? Uh, well, I, I hope that uh, uh, the Democrats don't steal the election from the, uh, the winner, you know, but... <laughs> you, know. you like That's George good. Bush, don't you? I love George Bush, man. He's a good man, decent. You know, uh, none of this. Yeah, this View interview, I remember it. Uh, Barbara Walters. Uh, he's, uh, you know, he's not a, a liar, a crook, murderer, or anything like that. So it'd be good to get the. See, I, I don't. I think we should get the homicide out of the White House and get like a 
a, a fresh start, because we don't want any more murderers. I no, think we, we should just go on to the next question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, Clinton, he murdered a guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, no, you're not going to hear about this? Accusations without that's a little Charlie. too far. That's the way it does let's, just, let's just go on to the next question. He will not drop it. <laughs> yeah. This is not my week. What can I tell you? <laughs> oh, it's not mine either. And I'm being very nice, okay? <laughs> Be a good boy. Now, Norm. Do you never hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we don't need I don't to want to get into that. this, and I don't want to hear it, and this is not the place to make those accusations. And you're supposed to be funny. Oh. Let's get on to <laughs> get with it. There you go. <laughs> But you have been properly chastised by Barbara. Uh, so now we're to the next question. I thought it was a matter of record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me do this. Okay. <laughs> Today was a matter of record. You will not be invited back if you don't shut up. Uh, All right. Now. He's like, okay. One more time. <laughs> All right, man, manslaughter. 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 The people here asked me to do the show, you know, I got to say, I felt kind of weird, you know. I, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, I used to actually be on this show. You know? uh, I used I'm still the, here, uh, but what's going on? News routine, you remember that? And, uh, yeah. That's where I did the make-believe news jokes, you know. That was me, right? So then... A year and a half ago, right, I had a sort of a, a disagreement with the management at, uh, at the NBC. Uh, I wanted to keep my job. <laughs> and they felt the exact opposite. <laughs> so, so you see, they like, uh, they fired me because they said that I wasn't funny, you know? Now, now, with most jobs, I could have had a hell of a lawsuit on my hands for that, but, but see, this is a comedy show. <laughs> so they got me, you know, you know, like, you know what? Like. But now, this is the weird part, right? It's only a year and a half later, and now they asked me to host the show. <laughs> so I wondered, I go, hey, wait a second here. Hey! I go, how did I go in a year and a half from being not funny enough to be even allowed in the building. <laughs> yep. To being so funny that I'm now hosting the show. How did I suddenly get so goddamn funny? <laughs> it was inexplicable to me because a year and a half Let's face it, it's not enough time for a dude to learn how to be funny. <laughs> then it occurred to me, I haven't gotten funnier. The show has gotten really bad. <laughs> He's right, though. Not wrong. So, yeah, I'm funny compared to, you know, well, you'll see later. <laughs> okay, so let's recap. <laughs> The bad news is, I'm still not funny. <laughs> the good news is, the show blows. <laughs> Norm's the best, because he didn't care. He would say what he wanted to say. When he wanted to say it. <laughs> I mean, there was nobody that old that I can remember. And his weekend updates were the best. But yeah, he tore OJ and Hillary up michael jackson yeah i mean there was no line he wouldn't cross and he would do it stone -faced. there's something about listening to him tell a story that i can only imagine being friends with him oh god <laughs> it just seems like really good people to have around so if you're new to norm welcome uh, I well, would advise him going down the rabbit hole, watch some of his specials, and go find some comedians talking about him, just having conversations with him, because that's some of the funniest stuff in the world to me. There's comedians out there that aren't even funny that'll tell a Norm story that'll make me laugh. They become funny just talking about Norm. What's just, what gets me is, it, it makes me wonder if he thinks he's funny or not. Because like, just the way that he talks and tells all these stories, he's just like, and... Yeah, so that's what happened. That, is he laughing? You know? <laughs>
But get in the comments, let us know your thoughts on Norm. Are you new to Norm? Are you are you like me and been watching Norm for years and you're like me? Glad that people are starting to appreciate his comedy now. Let us know. Get in the comments and tell us some of your favorite moments in Norm because there's so many and she can... I want to send her down the rabbit hole so if you happen to find any of the stand-ups <laughs> and you go, oh, go to five minutes and 22 seconds. I will be happy to do that. Yes. He was one of my all-time favorite comedians growing up, and he still to this day is untouched in his ability to make you uncomfortable. Like, share. Subscribe. Do the thing. Do the thing. Till the next time, guys. As always. Come at me, bro.